Alright. Uh, see. Okay, so let's continue this. Maybe this will be quite short. I don't know. Uh, but then I'll take a look around. There are more quests to do in this new area. I always get so gloomy okay. when it rains. It's... Okay, it's alright. Yeah. So, we're going... Can we still walk here? Oh. I don't know if we wouldn't be able to anymore. Carpet again. This from makes movement easier. Do not like it, Paimo. Well, no, <laughs> just Paimo's not used to talk to a fish. Uh, she missed her to restore nature. How could she? Sorry, who now? Come on, who were talking about before? Sorry, the miasma move first, explanations later. Stabilize! Order guide you! Usually three of them. What do we have here? That again? Or oh, no? really need your company or she pointed me to where I needed to go. Uh, Lingguan. Lingguan. I perceived you with you. Uh, and I do miss you so, but this really might be a bad time. Uh, so, Bluey's name is Lingguan. Know me like that, speak to with me. The opportunity to speak will come, but it is not now. You know this. I know this, but I cannot allow it. Wait just a little longer, you wait soon. I don't like the things up here, up there, but it does not matter, just leave it to me, Fujin. Not come up here. Where this guy's came from? Solidify. Again, all this thing here, here. Here comes the fireworks. Lulu, 
timing. Did we just get to adapt us? Or are those considered regular animals? Oh! <laughs> Is it supposed to be always raining here? To one peak at it to archive. I'm quite sorry for not being completely frank with you earlier. Though I became aware of it during our travels, I did not wish to believe that my old friend Lingwan would be the source of the storm that buffers Shenyu Vale. But isn't the other one dead? Wouldn't be the only option. I actually had an inkling already. Oh, so that's what's going on. Wow. She, Herb Lord, and I was defending Chen Yu Vale together to think that she would do something so wicked. Her disruption of the spirit veins has caused the miasma to propagate, and the one who stopped me from performing the rite of in the first, the first time was also her. But Bix is Fujin, Bluey, I mean, Lingwan isn't a bad person. I know, little Mao, she's your friend, but at this time, she's the greatest threat to Chen Yu Vale. If she controls this sacred mountain, she will will the power to completely alter the land of Chen Yu Vale in the blink of an eye. I fear that Lingwan has already entered Chi Wan Terrace before us. She means to rewrite the flow and path of the spirit veins. We have little time left. Inus, you have mastered the adaptable energy available here in Chen Yu Vale. Lingwan and her familiars will not be your match. Please accompany me for a time and aid me. For the sake of the people in Chen Yu Vale, I will perform a ritual and open the way to Chen Wang Terrace. Please stay by my side and protect me. Um, a scored mission or are you just okay you just uh oh hey solidify the field is lit come on aim at them Stabilize! Flee! Getting gear! Going under! Pair! Getting gear! Oh, we don't... Frost is coming! I thought those guys were dead already. Die already, and just by reaching that, I kill a few. Why won't you listen to me? Will you not wait? Your strength's feeble, you cannot match me, but do not worry, you will soon recover. England, say no more, and I will stop you. We will stop this plane to destroy Shinyu Veil. The ritual is complete, the gate to Chiwan Terrace is now open. 
The world seems to spin for a moment, and when you open your eyes once more, you are already above the clouds. Hmm. Leyline Zorn, we only want to change the direction of the spiritual veins. Miasmic Simulacra will be continuously generated. This simulacra will deal continuous damage to nearby characters. Only ones gathering hydro or animal adapt all energy. If the there are any miasmic simulacra still present, Lingwan will gather them as well to power up the attack. Okay, so focus on those simulacra. Except all energy to eliminate the simulacra. If all miasmic simulacra are eliminated before Lingwan gathers up adapt all energy, the spirit veins will be stabilized once more, reviving all party members. Oh. And granting them the protection of the spirit veins for short duration. Hmm. While spirit veins protection is active, all part main attack will be increased. Freeze Lingua when she's getting hydro. Use one of those. Attack elemental type against uh to undergo elemental reactions to the animal. Okay. Order guide you. <laughs> Do your work! Time for a light show! Go up the ship down! Uh, I don't think I did anything. Damn Get in gear! Stabilize! Immune? No, it's not immune to water. Okay, it doesn't Solidify. seem to be too fast or anything. Frost is coming! Hey. Here's only shield be. Going on! Getting here! Oh. Frost is coming! Hey. Frost is coming! Getting here! Frost is coming! The field is lit! This is order! Stabilize. You could have. Why are there so many dialogues while we're fighting? Stabilize! Do your work! Frost is coming! Dead reckoning! Pair! Frost is coming! Get in here! I will have order! Gather! Time for a light show! Once a relative resonance this field. Oh, again, let's just stop. Frost is coming! So hey. again, could have done nothing, never listen. Crumble! Oops. Solidify! Get in gear! All right. Lingwan? Human, let me tell you what you shall do. Fire arrows of my heart. If you approach up close, strike me with your sword. I will fight you to the last. You are the only one here who can fight. When I have crushed your neck, I will triumph. No. I don't intend to kill you. Why? I do not understand. You've already lost. <laughs> uh, your Fujin is framed. Fine. You may ask me one more question. Why? Still care about doing things like that? Even though you lost? Huh. Then let us exchange questions. Your mom, do you have any questions? Mm, Louis, 
Why do you have to fight? Can we all be friends? Uh, you bunch of two legs and you Fujin, you have not a strange form, two legs of your own, yet you wish to walk in their form and speak to me. But how can humans and wild beasts ever be friends? That's not true, Bluey, you're lying. If that's the case, why didn't you just let those beasts eat meat back then? If humans and beasts can be friends and you're a beast, you shouldn't have helped me. My actions are sometimes beyond even my own understanding. You are merely fortunate. Well, why didn't you just eat mountain as well? She almost bumped into you while lost in the fog at the foot of the mountain. I saw it. Your humans possess such wisdom that even nature submits your will. In that case, you tell me, why didn't I eat her? Uh, what kind of quest is that? Mount Lacing is dear to Adeptus Fujin. Let us just assume you are correct. She has told me much about the range it right? Perhaps those memories affect my affect my actions. You actually remember everything I told you. Every year before the ride, you would tell me and the white snake how expectant you were and how nervous. And after the ride, you would tell us how the festivities was so fun and lively. You would always speak, and I could not help but listen. Only humans forget. I forget nothing. You have cleared this doubt of mine. Now you may ask a question. Well, Deptus Fujin, have you any questions? In us just a while back, Ling Wan, I was telling them stories about our past. Why do you wish to wreck Chain of Veil, which we once fought so hard to protect? You planted tea trees, promising to enjoy tea with us. This too I remember, but the sort of tea no longer exists. I want to change this land, I want to make it like it was all those millennia ago. You have walked with humans for too long. You have forgotten that you, I, and the snake all came from nature. I knew that you never truly perished. And you did not depart this place like the snake. So I wish to change this place to the form you had when you were born. All these years, I have been slowly adjusting the spirit veins. Oh, I get it. So that's where the miasma cup came from. Correct? Side effects. In the end, the process will change the soil, the waters, and the forests to what they should have been. What the soil, waters, and forests should have been? You truly have forgotten the past. The rivers rose and fell with the rains, and their path was not fixed. The tea trees and flowers were not trimmed or cultivated, nor did they exist for humanity. Then I suppose tea didn't exist, so it wouldn't be tea trees. In such an environment, you would regain your old form and frolic once more in the great rivers. You would regain your strength, your spiritual power blanketed the lane in those days. The wild shrubs grew thick, now the mountains and forests are silent, and the shimmering voice of the spring waters Tinkling like jade can be heard no, long, no longer. But you don't understand. You still think you must stop me. Ingwan, I count myself more blessed than most who have lived such a happy life. And in the end, my soul returned to my home. You are the one who does not understand. Yes, and I have never understood. After you defeated me, you should have taken my territory. You planted tea in my mountain and gave the land to the humans. I don't understand why you did this. Chenveo was once but a nameless land, and we were nameless insects, beasts, and fish. Uh, I was the master of an uncultivated mountain, and today the place belongs to neither of us. You took a human form and walked among them. You instituted the range aid right and helped them change the soil and water. I didn't understand that either, but I could see how happy you were. 
The snake changed into a human form and used her knowledge to create medicines and save the sick. Oh, but the, the snake's dead, so I forgot the pet snake. Is it, is it not really a pet, but a descendant? I couldn't understand how the agile human fingers could help her do what she wished. But I do not know why it was done. Now, what happened after caused me still more confusion. You fought alongside humans and their so-called gods, and you perished. Humans fighting each other over territory and survival. Now that I can understand. You both belong to the Great River and the mountainous forests. You could have chosen to leave them and live alone with me. Let that which is human belong to them and nature belong to nature. Even if our territory were to shrink, we could still live freely. But now you wish to stop me and defend this land to be due by humanity. Answer me. Why? Anyone, my friend, it is as you say. I do wish to protect them. Not answer me with my own question. I was asking you why. This little one might be a beast, but she sure cares about the other things, huh? I know, that's how I learned so much from her. So you guys were just discussing stuff in the mountains. Well, not totally. That said, after hearing everything Bluey said about Big Sis Fujin, I thought they'd be happy to meet each other. At first, I was like you, I did not understand humanity, and I did not enjoy their excessive demands and love of hoarding, or their eternal desire to have more than they need, while caring so little for the needy themselves. Trading, wealth, like you, I did not understand these concepts and did not understand why they influence human joy and sorrow. But across the long years, I have also seen many other things. The cries of children break my heart, and the sound of an old person's shattered memory saddens me. Uh, just as it were all a microcosm of these mountains and rivers. Have you noticed them, seen them? The children who wash their little feet in the streams, fishermen laughing beneath the light of the rainbow's arc, the moonlight thrusts of lovebirds, their figures painted silver. Humans too are creatures of this land, just how different is their innocence from ours? Let me say that you have chosen to take their side due to these emotions, not through natural principles or logic, and not due to anyone's orders. I suspect that Herb Lord had much the same reasons as I. That said, I'm sure she put it all very differently. Oh yeah, it was also Herb Lord, her name, so yeah. Uh, I remain unsatisfied with your answer, Fujin. I don't understand. You do not? I think you've understood for a long time. When our Lord, when our previous God raised the waters, it was you who brought your familiars around to attack the people and drive them to shelters we had created. I just... I just wish to help my friends, to make their wishes reality. Even if doing so means going against nature and the principles you follow. Even if it means going against the nature and the principles, principles I follow, I would do so anyway. Well, then we aren't all that different now, are we? Then you also choose your own position on account of your feelings. I'm satisfied with your answer, Fujin. Now, you may ask a question. Well, well, I may ask this question. Yes, may I ask this question? Uh, and what about my question? Was it Pamu's turn? Ask away. Yeah, I don't remember exactly what was her question, but we, we gave her the tournament. I can't really think of any good questions at the moment, so... So you want to question, ask a question, that is Fujin, go right ahead. You acknowledge my answer, acknowledge me, and acknowledge that you make choice based on your own feelings. Now let me ask you. 
No, don't ask. No, I'm going to ask, right? If I needed your help, why would... Uh, would you still make the same choice? That's right. And what's your answer? Yes, I would. Even should another thousand years pass? Maybe if you ask me a thousand more times, my answer would be the same. In that case, Lingwan, I do in fact need your help. I truly wish to save the people of Chenyu Vale, so please, don't stop me from nursing the water and soil, alright? I promise you, Fuji, you have walked with humans for much time and have learned their cunning, while I am but a foolish beast. My claws and teeth are sharp, but I am no match for you. Thank you, Lingwan. And thank you, Inus Paimo and Little Mao. You've accompanied me for so long. And you helped me a lot. I wouldn't have made it here without you. Uh, I'm happy to have helped you, big sis. I'm also glad that Bluey got to meet you all, too. I was so worried when you fought. You also have my thanks, Inus, little Mao. It was you who brought Fujin to me. Though the circumstances of the meeting were not what I hoped for. And what about Paimo? Alright then, let us begin. Paimo wasn't useful. This is Fuji, big sis. Where'd she go? Do you still not understand? She used all the energy she accumulated recently to nurse the land. Wait, if that's the case, doesn't mean. Yes, it is as you suspect. But she struggles so hard too. So we have now finished nursing the soil and water. The miasma that remains will not disappear immediately. So, you have to be careful out there. Huh? So, for making you all see me like this, it is just as Lingon said, I have completely used up all the energy I accumulated recently, and I can no longer maintain my favorite form. You know what? Paimon thought, Paimon thought that. What's wrong? Nothing, nothing. Paimon was glad to see you here, Adeptus Fujin. Seriously, Lingon? What about me? She wasn't trying wrong, Paimo. As long as you're here, that was fudgy. Though my farm is as it has become, I am far more comfortable than before. At first, I was trapped at Carp's Rest and could only reminisce about the outside world through the scent of the tea offerings. If I had not met you and Paimo, people of such comp compatibility with the spirit veins, I would not have done. I would have had none of but my shadows to talk to, much less being able to leave Carp's Rest. Uh, thank you for your concern, please forgive me, but I must depart now, I'll need a bit of rest. And another thing, Lingwan, speak, what else would you have me do or not do? Nothing. I just didn't get to say this to the circuses that prevailed before, but... But it's good to see you again. I know. Mm -hmm. Thank you all. Uh, where did that came from? I should thank you for bringing her back. 
safe, smooth, and slippery. Even the way in which her things move is the same as I remember. Uh, you should have a strange way of remembering people, or fish, or whichever. Do not know how you did it, nor why you were able to obtain her depth of energy. All these thousand years, and I never once heard her voice. Maybe due to Ina's uh, unique constitution. I uh, see, however, I am but a foolish beast. If you wanted to see her again, would not know of a better way. I could only spend thousands of years clumsily imitating her methods, regulating the spirit veins in this land. I am quite stupid and only knew this method, so I did it. It was akin to scooping every droplet from a Russian river or every grain of sand from the vast desert. I knew as well that she would not smile as she once did. Even these mountains return to how they once were. She, I, and the snake once left and swam happily here. Those days will never come again. She loves humanity too much, even more than she loves herself. Had I succeeded, she would only hate me. But that will have not mattered to me, so long as she could regain her form and swim free once more. And Pyle thought you were more concerned about nature. Of course I care. A land untamed by humans, a land of wild beasts. But that is a different subject from the matter of Fuji. If she thinks that a land tamed by humans is better, and that the strange tea leaves grown on such land taste superior, then I shall not do what then I shall do what pleases her. So thank you. You're welcome. Well, speaking on that, I'm just curious. What did the tea leaves taste like in the past? When the lane changed before, the tea leaves flavors was much closer to what it was in the past, apart from some differences due to human influence. Wait, right, so I mean the weird flavored tea cakes we had were... In that case, I prefer the current flavor profile. The leaves cultivated by humanity will be more to their liking, of course. What I do not understand is Fujin's tastes. If the snake was here, we could ask for her opinion, but perhaps her tastes have also become strange from spending so much time with humans. Before you go, Ignus, I have one final question for you. Those that come from nature will, for some reason, go against nature, against the laws of nature against the laws nature originally followed. Will humans also go against humanity, against the principles they initially followed for certain reasons? Yeah, it depends on the circumstances. You may as well have just said yes. No, because it's not always. Thank you, I have received the answer desired. Well then, little Mao and Spymon, we shall meet again. Alright then, see you later, Bluey. Also, remember to take care of Big Sis Fuji. She seems kinda weak right now, so she could use some extra care. I will, farewell. Please wait, Lingua. I have a question for you as well. Ask then, I do all with that. If human activities are part of the laws of nature, how would you view humanity? A strange question. In the distant past, they were indeed part of nature, but they are so no longer. That is because... No, I need to give this question more thought. Next time we meet, I will give you my answer. But isn't the boss here? Bluey, Solitaire Swanee, and the bees are on his fantasy. I don't know, is it just really similar and not exactly the same? Uh, I have to just take him back there. Let me take a look at you. I was just looking at Ling one, so let's see. 
if there are any differences between her and the other boss. It should be exactly the same. Stabilize. Oh no, the eyes I think are different. Ah, it's another one. It's not the same. I'm unsure about the yellow thing on the forehead as well. But blue yes, eyes were blue, I think. Okay, so this is another one. Well, Okay, the carp was just a regular carp, and over time it got sentience, like sapiens, like happened with the crane. So that's probably just a beast, not an adaptus. Okay, so there's a quest here. You're back. We're just saying that good rainfall's about to bring good tidings. And what do you know, dear guests? You've arrived. Right on time. How did it go? Well, I trust. That was all about it. It was thanks to Adeptus Fujin. Well, the other guy doesn't know about it. We were able to clear the source of the anomalies. Okay, let's say that because I don't think we spoke about that to the other guy. So, met the legendary Carp Adeptus. Oh my, as one would expect from the young master of the Feyon Commerce Guild, you really do have friends on high, in high places. It was a piece of cake for me. Now, your water and soil problems should be no more. Yeah. Anyway, your soil and water problems should be solved now. Uh, Olu, what, uh, just what did I say? I told you it was a problem with the soil, but you wouldn't listen. If it wasn't for their help, we'd still be tealess come next year's Lantern Ride. Next year's, but so you didn't have tea for this year's, right? That, uh, regardless, thank you both for your help, honored guests. With your help and the protection of the Carp Adeptus, I'm sure our village will surely see a great harvest of tea leaves this coming year. Ah, yes, please take this. Take it as a token of our thanks. Alright, ah, I almost forgot. We came across this kid during our adventures. Is he from the village too? Hey, Uncle Luo, I'm back. Uh, if it isn't you, Leo Mao, you finally have, uh, have a mind to come back, huh? Uh, you don't seem worried at all. Now, what is there to, be, to fret about? This kid runs around in the mountains all the time. And he always comes back safe after getting tired. If it's me, there's been an Adeptus looking after him in secret all along. You know, maybe them might even be the safe Carp Adeptus. I said it before, it wasn't an Adeptus, it was Bluey. Alright, alright, little Mo, don't argue with Luo here. He's just pretending to know what he's talking about. Come by my place later, I'll make you some egg custard. Woohoo, egg custard. Uh, and now you pretend to be a good person. Wait, what do you mean pretend to know? In any case, I don't really know how to repay you, dear guests. You should need, if you should need any help in the future, Chow in Village will be here, will be there to lend you a hand. And they're gone. Oh. Do I have any quests here? No, just the event. Yeah, but 13 days should go. Let me do it later this week. Uh, 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 uh. 
Let me just open the map quickly here and see if anybody's complaining that this quest is way too long. If it is, I'll look for another one. Kolo. Oh, thank you. Uh, the tea cauldron technician has already arrived and is tinkering with it over there. Ah, uh, okay, so that I didn't have to complete the thing. Uh, Speaking of which, has the tea problem been solved? It has indeed. If only the tea cauldron could be fixed too, we might be able to turn this place into a tourist hotspot. You know, this tea cauldron is said to be a divine treasure that was given to Chowin Village by the claw retainer from Juyun Karst. Uh, I wonder what's gone wrong with it. Uh, so, what's she doing? I don't understand technician's jargon either. Structural analysis this, bone graph that. Anyway, she's examining the tea cauldron. Oh, over there. Ah, that's a Okay, it's a Deptus thing, so... Hmm... Uh, so... That's real... Tringon in action, eh? I don't know what the word means. I'm pretty sure that's not how... Not what that is. For long, how the mountain finishes... Uh... Mr. Lu, I finished examining the tea cauldron. From the look of it... I will throw back. I was worried about the tea cauldron. No need to worry, there's no such thing as a problem that can be solved after all. So, how's it looking? Uh, what's wrong with the tea cauldron? It's not much the tea cauldron itself as, well, take a look at the bone graph I sketched out over there. The flow source itself should be fine, but something's off with the performance of several curators over there, over here. Oh, what now? I'm totally perplexed. <laughs> Apologies, I'm just so used to using all these technical terms. In layman's terms, the T color itself is probably fine, but there's something wrong with the with three of the connecting mechanisms. This is causing the flow of elemental energy nearby to act a little funny. Three mechanisms? Oh right, we say mechanisms, we say monoliths. Mountain ley lines, wind over the place. Uh, so you have to control them with sacred stones to prevent chaotic elemental energy. Yes, it's just science. Uh, chaotic elemental energy is indeed a terrifying thing, but these mechanisms shouldn't have much to do with the ley lines. They aren't directly connected. While we can clearly see how the mechanisms are structured, their operating principles are the same. Those legendary death time must have been phenomenal art artisans. Now, you're not wrong there. I may not understand the mechanical mysteries at work here, but that claw retainer sure is an incredible adeptus for having come up with such ingenuity. These monoliths, functionally speaking, are more accurate name would be three phase asynchronous elemental tuners. 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 Uh, that's right. According to the records, uh, great master Alan Guillotin himself, the founder of Fountain Research Institute of Kinetic Energy Engineering, also designed a constrained layer dampener to regulate the elemental energy. While his blueprints are long lost, the principle should be the same. Emphasis on should be. Uh, it's a shame I'm too old to learn such things. So let me ask again, what caused this problem? Is it serious and can it be fixed? Us technicians don't get too concerned with whether a problem is serious or not. We only think of whether or not it can be fixed. 
Didn't you just say there's no problem that can be fixed? As for this particular issue, let's just say if it wasn't fixable, I have left a long time ago. Oh well, that's a relief. There I was, thinking the adept I saw was as a bunch of neglectful fools, and had cast some kind of match on these wards to make it irreparable. Mr. Luo, all devices are fundamentally the same. If they are left for too long without being maintained or repaired, it's only natural that problems will arise. As Master Guillotine once said, no matter what the system or how ingenious the original design, all mechanisms will eventually collapse if left to run completely on their own. Uh, so what went over Paimon? That went over Paimon's head, but anyway, if you can just fix those tunnels, that should solve the problem, right? Yep, that's right. The three mechanisms connected to the T-Codro aren't too far from here. So, if you let me go take a look, I should be able to fix them. I'll come help too. Thanks, that's very kind of you. In any case, there's no point waiting around, let's get uh, going. Excellent. Mr. Ingham Spymo, I'll lead this tea color business to your good cells and the technician. Uh, from what the technician last said, it seems there's a problem with the monoliths in the mountains. But I don't know exactly how serious the problem is, I just hope it can be fixed quickly. Wing here. Pyro here. Yeah, I tried shooting pyro there. Wing here. Alright, there's another one. Okay, what? Hydro. Alright. Oh, where to? Threefold expectations. Um. Well, it is a magical device, so I guess it makes sense the devices are far away. Is that a monolith? There is a heavy flashback to the those Harbor. In those Harbor, did Mountain used to work there? Mm, that's right, the Aquabus project there has been paused rarely. Uh, person in charge. As Mantis wine taste. I'd be bored out of my mind. Yeah. Okay, so just resonate with Monolith. Three. Oh. I suppose to get those right. Three. Uh -huh. this one's spinning. Oh. Ah, oh, okay. Probably. Give her help. Efficiency to arrive at the physical elevation. What strange compressor is that? So I don't. I don't have to use the elemental energy. Just uh, so in another one there will be a pyro. Uh, pyro slimes and the other animal. Not necessarily slimes, but 
something like that. Oh, it's down there. I thought the teleport would be up here. up shaped thing over there got it can this guy is leaving a hand you can see fire moon are you here so far away from the rest of people i think i'll wait to find some young people who will seriously learn the craft of masonry is there anything of note nearby the sides are lovely around here i'll take take it out to in slowly if you're interested the best stone isn't much unless you've got um uh, what was she supposed to show me you are oh, aren't you intelligent looking youngster i'm shushan the trustiest stone masons in chain of veil have come from my family for generations now ever since the time of my ancestors Many of the local stone buildings were built by my family. Even after retiring, I still haven't found an apprentice worth of inheriting my skills. Craftsmanship. Uh, the craftsmanship of cutting and transporting stones, the techniques required to carve on stone surfaces. These are the are only some of the many things a stone mason needs to learn to perfect their craft. There's not only jade to be found around here, all men of high quality stone lie in this veil. So, the best materials for building roads and houses. I'm not the only stone mason around this part, but I'm sure everyone would want their family craft passed down from generation to generation to continue shining brightly. Am I wrong? If you want to pass from generation to generation, shouldn't it pass on to your children? If you have any, instead of looking for an apprentice. Otherwise, just go teach some other stone mason. You need skill and stamina to work in stone. Your body won't be able to cope unless you start training from your age. Thus, some youngsters are too eager to succeed to success and end up taking the wrong path. After learning some fancy skills from elsewhere, they carve and polish pure white stones to make mementos. Which they then sell to outsiders. So things are nice to keep a souvenir if reasonably priced, but they're not worth it at all if they're too expensive. After all, ordinary stone is not the equal of jade. It should be used to build ordinary houses, uh, uh, roads, and bridges. Alright, it doesn't make much sense for it to build around here. Hmm. Now the camera goes there. Can you just aim at what is right to your side? What? What did Fudging have to do with that? Good job, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. 
Well, what did I tell you? Well, this was the same principle. What well, were you saying about Fujin? Because she left some interesting parts, she has a mystic stone. But I'm sparing, I go back here and look. But I was worried. Is that a quest? Ah, that just became a quest right now. Okay, maybe a continuation. The other one. Uh, let's uh, aim here. I'm not sure. Mm. Solidify. Here. Well, is that the same one where we help the guy? Yes. I guess. I guess. Uh, no, I'm not sure. It, if it... No, I think this is too close to the. Time for no, no, this one. Shall prevail. Frost is coming. Tear. Going under. Frost is coming. Tear. Frost is coming. Getting gear. Frost is coming. Tear. Frost is coming. Getting gear. Yeah, I don't think it's the same one where I helped that guy. Turn the turn has got a bit over there. What else? Huh. Complete. I think we're good here for now. Yep. If there's any scrap metal or parts you don't want, Uncle if you want my help, all three mechanisms have now been taken care of. Uh, I knew you three could do it. Such extraordinary skill. It was all thanks to you and Paimon. I just need to do some final checks now. So there shouldn't be any problems. You two wouldn't be able to help out the game, would you? Alright, let's head up together. You follow Hot Mountain to the Tea Cauldron. As you're tapping the tea cauldron lightly, a slight look of surprise appears on Halter Mountain's face. What's up? Uh, there's just something strange about the echo. According to my calculations, it should be more of a thump 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 sound. Could you have miscalculated, maybe? Surely that's way too abstract anyway. What do you mean by thump thump thump? Well, the tea cauldron is empty, so going by the formula left by Master Guillotine, the echo should be much clearer. What in Tevar could be the reason? Mm, what is the problem? Can't say anything from the outside. Let me see. Why don't you take a look inside, Paimon? Someone can fit in there. No way, surely. 
Pamu feels like we've discussed this before, but why do you always try to get Pamu to go in such strange places? Forget it, so check it out myself. Mm -hmm. That's a kill cauldron like this. No response. The kill cauldron, or like this. Still no response. Mm -hmm. Sucking the teapots, plus Order the and the switches. Makes no sense. Fire hazard! Need to limit those limitations. Do your worst! Pear! Frost is coming! Yield! So this switch form for the metal limitation. I can try to do something. Yeah, I'm not sure what they were talking about while I was trying to fight. Did she knock outside and that was what killed the, the other slimes? Did you come out of from there? I was just about to call someone. I was worried sick. Never imagined an adapted treasure could suck people in like that. But check this out. Oh, there's tea flowing out after that's tea. Uh, after cleaning out the elemental sanitation. Hang on, this looks like it's just regular water. Wow, Lewis adapted mechanisms are truly incredible. They can even generate a whole, whole new spaces. Even Mr. Gilchim himself couldn't do such a thing. Seems like little Mo was right after all. There will always be someone better than you. And teapots you haven't been to. No, <laughs> that's not how it goes. Needless to say, without you, the tea cauldron wouldn't have been repaired so quickly. Thanks for your help. How Mount... Uh, how Mountain... It doesn't really help that they don't voice act to this, this name. But you don't have to use my full name, just call me Mountain. It's bas it basically means the same thing in a way. It means the same thing, but is it really said as, pronounced as Hot Mountain? Mm, Alright, well, thank you, Mountain. Uh, 
Processing tea will never be as efficient as processing it in a workshop. But seeing as this tea cauldron was divine treasure, it will surely be a real thirst magnet to help revitalize Chowing Village. Uh, we will invite the thirst to experience our centuries old tea making traditions themselves and pocket a few more for entry tickets in each exchange. Entry tickets to the village? Seems like someone's forgotten the respect, to respect the Adepti. Ah, the village will prosper, business will bloom, and the Adepti will smile upon us when they see it. Isn't that a, a kind of respect? Uh, thank you all, dear guests, for your help as well. Chowing Village's future is looking bright once again. You're too kind. As long as there's plenty of tea and snacks waiting for us next time we come. But of course, that goes without saying. You're Chowing Village VIPs now. Once the first batch is done, I'll reserve some of the very highest quality tea for you to sample. Uh, I don't really pay attention. Where did you come from? I was actually looking at the, uh, the dialogue below. Come on, just climb it. Okay, let's see the other. Uh, I said, oh, but I must be worried about Aptus Fujin's condition. If you have time, maybe a good. Yeah, that's a bit too fast, isn't it? Shouldn't it be like the next day or something that this quest should unlock? Um, then that. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it has blue eyes. Uh, I also think the other one is slightly more greenish. And this is more bluey, really. Okay, but it is a different one. It is a Paimon, you are here. Uh, Lingon, why are you over here? Oh yeah, you should answer my question now. Because you said you would next time we meet. Because I can't get in. Can get in? Uh, where can't you get into? Carp's Rest, where Fujin is resting. Carp's Rest? Oh, you mean the place Fujin dragged us off to way back when? It is on a boat sealed by her adaptable energy. I don't have her adaptable energy, thus I cannot go to her. But you, but you didn't mention anything before she went back to rest. Escape my mind. Do you need help? Delay now, Bluey. Be late now, Bluey. Yeah, how could I forget something as important as that? Really? No. It is because I am a slow witted beast. Seeing her, I think many things and forget many things. It is my fault. Uh, the depth of energy you possess is sufficient to open the gate of Carp's Rest. So, yes, I need your help. Yeah, just not realize. Bluey is quite eloquent and all, but. It kind of has the personality of a cat. <laughs> Wait a sec, so you've been waiting here for us this whole time? I was not waiting for you, I was looking for a way into Carp's Rest. That seems like pretty much the same thing too. Uh, anyway, we're a bit worried about Fujin's condition too. So why don't we go see her together? Fine, thank you both. Follow me. Uh, but how? Do I just climb that? Ah, uh, that's what I was looking for. the path uh, 
Ah, that seems to be a regular opening. What's back here? This should be a fishing spot. Space door is open, just go forward. Oh, the mission she brought us here before, look at that mean. Power requires familiarity, her power is no exception. Uh, that thing's here now. Carry on echo. Uh, in Spamo, in Lingo, why do you all come here? Ah, there you are. Oh, that's Fujin's voice. Uh, it's coming from down below. A little worried about you. Lingua is a little worried about you. I am not. I just... You are. Lingua's been so worried about your health that she can barely speak. So, we just came here without giving you a heads up. How could we give you a heads up? But you did the same thing to us first, so open things are square now. Uh, sorry. Uh, when I returned here to rest, I think I forgot to unlock the entrance. I'm so sorry. You came here to see me, but I made things harder for you instead. No, it wasn't much of a hassle, but why are you uh, hiding in a puddle? Uh, how should I put it? Because I can return to the farm I prefer yet. Uh, with you guys always seeing me into my carp in my carp farm, I can help but feel a bit embarrassed. You are aware that we've already seen many, many times, right? So there's no need to hide yourself, is there? Uh, but before, I could turn back to human form whatever I wanted. So I thought moving around as a car was just a matter of convenience. But now all I have is this sleek and slippery self. So I find a bit... Oh, that's a bit of a strange thing to be so insistent about. But anyway, all that matters is that you're okay. But Lingua said that your adaptable energy wasn't consumed. It was just dispersed around the mountains, forests, and rivers of Chenyo Vale. And that's why you've been weakened so much. Ah, so here's where I'll have to bring those uh, blue fishes. So if we were to collect the scattered adaptable energy, just like when we were finding the golden carp of Yaudi Valley, uh, then you'd get better, right? Yes, at least in theory, that's correct, but... Right, right, so if we see similar carbs, should we just bring them back here? The uh, way you recover much faster. Uh, that would be far too much trouble for you, my power is not yet that feeble. If I simply rest here for some time, it will be enough. It's not that much of a hassle. We just keep our eyes peeled if we run into any. Thank you then. However, I really don't want to trouble you anymore on my behalf. You've already done so much for me. If the two of you should happen to find any more adaptable energy during your travels, please simply transfer it to, into the jade here. So balance has been restored to the water and soil. If you can add more power to the rain jade, we can ensure favorable weather and prosperous years to come. And what about you? Really now, I already told you. All I need to do is rest here for a bit. You know, Spamo, I really am quite grateful and quite happy that you came to visit me. This is the first time anyone has come here since her Lord left. And thank you as well, Lingua. I done nothing worth your thing. Alright, enough of that. 
They just think of it as me thanking you for bringing Ignis and Paimon here. Really, no? And lastly, let me say thank you once more, Ignis and Paimon, for all I have done. Oblation. Place. Oh, but we can talk to you at any time. And. Oh, I thought Lin Wonka left. Speaking of which, this should be your boat, right, Fujin? Feels a bit different from the other adaptable boats we've been in. How should Paimon put it? It feels more pragmatic. Have been to water a boat besides chlor retainer? There are no weird mechanisms or transparent floating bridges. I don't remember to enter a domain for the other two. I'm very sorry. I was just too embarrassed before, so I never explained clearly. I cannot create new adapter realms like the Adepta of the South. Carp's rest is no abode. At best, it's just a cave. Cave, realm, whatever, they're all abodes. Where Adepta live, aren't they? Still, we don't even know when you can turn back into human form. All the power she accumulated has dispersed across the land, she will be unable to reverse her human form for some time. I am the same way when I've exhausted my power. After Master died, the snow fell, melted, and then it fell once more after melting. And this so countless times for I could regain human form. You have a human form then. Ah, oh, so that's it. Wait a second, Lemon. You can turn into a person too. Why, of course, there is much to not know. Why, back then on Mouse Yaoju, Lingwan's looks were. Fujin, no need to speak such, such things. It has nothing to do with the present topic. Uh, so, the whole thing about eating too many tea cakes at the temple fair in human form and crying to her blood about bringing weight loss tea. Uh, or the incident where you accidentally drank the celebratory lib libations and hold force boars in to ask them who's pretty, me or her lord. Uh, but I didn't speak of such things after all, did I? Fuji. Oh, after all that, Prime was getting curious. What does your human form look like, Liguan? Will you be as blue as you are now, or will be a slight lighter shade? I'm curious too. Lilguan, could you turn human just for a second? I refuse. Human bodies are weak. They lack fangs to rain and rip prey. And claws to hound and hunt enemies. I will not do such things unless commanded to by Fujin. You lead this to you, Fujin? Oh, really? In that case, I think we should just respect Ligon's wishes. I do not have any wishes. If you have some, tell me so directly. Uh, anyway, thank you, Spymo. I never imagined the day would come when I would be able to talk to others like this. Uh, as one has found oneself in such a joyful state of mind, one is willing to bestow protection upon you too for your journey, guaranteeing success and great fortune. Hmm? So I gotta be carried away. Why don't you try me like those adaptives? So I thought I'd try out a phrase or two. Anyway, I'll be staying here and praying for your journey to go smoothly. Alright. Uh, Fuji's adaptive energy says we transfer many spirit carbs that are scattered all over Chain's Vale. Collect the energy within spirit carbs and transfer it into the vot votive range age. Within Carp's Rest to increase its level and obtain blessings of Chain of Veil. Then I collected 40 and receive all this range of revelation. It will mark the location of the remaining spirit carps. Ah, oh, good. Mm, rewards. Oh, I can't see everything. Mm, Alright. Can you give one set? Remember, did you get wings for all the other ones? 
Okay, reputation leeway. No, that's okay. Um, yeah. Let me open the map again. I'll see where we can find another quest. Okay, there's one right at the entrance. Oh, somebody said something about a Sumter Beast around here, but I don't remember who or why. So, uh, dear passerby, could you please help a poor old man? What's the matter? My precious Jan have gone missing. I searched all over for it, but it's nowhere to be found. Well, there's a treasure hoarder camp too, but I dare not go there. Young? My precious, yes, my young young, my Assumpter Beast by that name. Assumpter Beast? Oh, so people from Liu keep those too, do they? Well, moving large quantities of cargo through the mountains is always a challenge for merchants who run long routes like we do. Cows are too slow. We have cow. we never seen cows. Well, we never seen moles. And never seen ponies carry too little and arranging for food and drink for porters is too expensive so i had this idea what if i simply bought a few sumter beasts of good stock from somero the way i'd be able to transport goods in bulk without worry i didn't think that someone would just steal my sumter beasts just as i entered chenyu veil uh, my young my mower uh, don't cry you're a grown man you know uh, did you really save any money by now ranking moves? Can you give us any? Did you save? You can calculate it so simply. Look, the Sumter Beasts I bought come me in a group. And they are of good stock too. As long as I'm successful in breeding them, I've no doubt that they will have adapted to Lewis' environment in two or three generations. Uh, I think that may be too short of a time. Uh, and once those two or three generations have passed, I'll rain my grown subter beasts out and sell them off. That's how I'll recoup all my costs. And by right now, as you can see, uh, what a loss, my young. I bought these three sub precious subter beasts and it was such an effort too. Never mind how I feel about them. Chile has always been the most obedient and it's been here all this time. Ju was very mischievous and ran off long ago. If even Yun should leave me, it would be a loss I could never ever recover from. Uh, well, the remaining Sumter Beasts definitely seem to be having a hard time all alone without any companions. Uh, surely uh, you two souls will help me, right? I've been wallowing here in my trouble for half a day and only you two have paid me any mind. And we're just passing through. Well, it looks like I need help, so where to provide? Well, then, where's their camp? Well, I'll meet you lead the way. Shouldn't you just point me to the direction? Mingly. 
Hello there, I'm Ingley, the boss's assistant. I went long face. I'm worried about my boss. He lost yet another Sumter Beast. We had three in total, but now we're just down to one. Sumter Beasts are quite expensive, and neither my boss nor I know much about keeping them. We're going to take big losses if we keep going like this. Do you guys think he's getting old and he's starting to forget things? Oh. Oh, will we find any firework materials in here? Chili pepper. Uh, in the urban tension, do they all have a crooked face like this? It doesn't look healthy. And uh, how exactly is that good for transporting goods here? Because it's just wrong here. He has to take a boat here. He can't just walk with the Sumter Beast all the way to Iwe Harbor. Uh, let me mark the quest. Chili con cloudy. Huh. That's close. Oh, that's more of the road. Who would have thought? Yeah. Ah, uh, this the they dropped. They dropped in front of the beasts. Ah, uh, there it is. This is the base. Please do it. Oh, start to be charging now. Oh, fuck. That was my cause energy. But it's Oh, it is because get off because it was the best of the beast. Who's the real bandit here? Come to take you home. You must have suffered, haven't you? I brought you your favorite Julian chilies. Come on, come on, come, come, have a bite. Ah, that's why one of the things were the shrubs didn't have chilies. You're not eating them anymore. You have you learned the wrong lessons while you've been out and about. Come on, eat. Do some beasts even eat Julian chilies? That's what I've been feeding you this whole time. Surely I know what he takes, what he likes. You're a disgrace, old man. Don't you know that Sumter Beasts like eating fruit? Uh, unless they are practically starving, they won't eat junior chilies. That stuff's bad for their health. Uh, and who in the world are you? A wild treasure hoarder appeared. <laughs> yeah, a wild treasure hoarder appeared. Oh, so spooky. So sneaky. Moo. Oh, quit making mountains out of molehills, you. Uh, Alright, you thief. Your comrades have all been brought to justice. But still, you dare to say this and that about my precious. Say, I'll give you say. Can say, sooth say, hearsay, a say, nay say. Huh? Where's this coming from? Let's just hear what our TV friend has to say. And say, uh, fine, do as you wish. Spit out, you crook. 
Uh, a crook, he says. Your summoner beast running to us on its running to us on its own accord. The rest lock it up, but I've been taking care of it this whole time. Uh, to change the name, yes, meaning local born, because that's exactly what I am. People don't usually say what their name means, except for Montaigne. Uh, as for why I know this and that about some of the beasts, that's because I used to work for a caravan in Sumeru. Uh, so what's the point of your name being local born? Is that relevant? I came to the treasure hoarders because they offered better pay. Uh, I didn't think things would get this dangerous. Anyway, your Sumter Beast he ate all the berries I spent three days picking. He must have been starving. Uh, so he was hungry. That would explain why he ran off. What nonsense. This crook lies. Isn't Chili by my side still? Well, we do have a point there. And then you have another Sumter Beast and leave view. Ju, uh, do you mean Ju left because he was hungry? Impossible. Impossible. Uh, why would it be impossible? Even people hate places where there isn't enough to eat. Anyway, Young Yun over here has been living good these past few days, so don't feed it anything weird from now on, alright? You cut per scratching Skurilo's slanderer. Well, then, if you say Yun's been living well, why don't we have a showdown between it and Chile then? A competition? How exactly? We'll take them out on a walk and see which one is in higher spirits. If Chile has a spirit in its step, that's how we know that this person's been putting Yun through the ringer. We saw Yun break through the face earlier. It sure looked pretty lively then. It must have eaten pretty well, right? Well, it's almost being necessarily competitive. Yeah, but he was also attacking the treasure hoarders that were treating nicely. So, well, who's afraid of you anyway? Fine. Uh, don't you dare leave. Come to my camp. And uh, that's where actually is. We'll have it out there. Find any firework materials in here? So a wild treasure hoarder appears, and now they're gonna have a beast battle duel. Not a battle, they won't really fight, but they will compete. Where? Am I to do anything besides watch? Sitch is doing great, and on the other hand, Yun's doing so poorly breaks my heart. I don't know which is which. Uh, are you sure your eyes are working? Okay, I, this is probably Chile and this Yun. Your eyes are working right, Ome? Isn't the other way around? You know, Pam really can't tell either. They just look pretty similar. Maybe we need them to walk around a bit to tell. Please, good that two of you be our referees. I'm sure you'll be impartial. And what are the rules exactly? We just see who gets to the finish line first. You more chilly. I'll have my system wait at the finish line. You can go over there now, Mingli. Yes, boss. Oh man, don't you think you're too tough on the Sumter Beast? Especially that chili of yours. It looks super hungry. Uh, scared young one and one making excuses, are we? What's well, Laner? I'm only being considerate. Fine, let's compete. I ain't afraid of you, none. And let's begin. I'm about to teach you a good lesson. Once we can start now. Okay, let's begin. But will the guy believe me? Shoes of your business are moving forward, seems like they're on the same wavelength. Let's watch it is ahead just for a moment. The path of soul, I mean. 
And the other one stopping. You stopped. Huh? What did I say? I say she probably stopped too. He was both hungry. What was the point of that? Chili, why aren't you moving either? Do you want some June chilies? Come, come, I got lots of them here. You can eat all you want today. The way you have the energy to compete. Chili Pepper seems to know what Wayne Hon's bringing and doesn't even look at it. What's going on? Why aren't you eating anymore? Getting on? Oh, I won't check. Anymore. Uh, hey now, come on. Didn't you just eat? Are you hungry already? What am I supposed to do with you? Well, we're fresh out of berries. We still got some sausages. Here, I suppose you enjoyed this too. We should retrieve the pile of sausages and place them on the ground. Then we start to eat. Look, Chili Pepper is joining too. I guess he wants in on those sausages, huh? Chili, not you too. See, I told you so. You're the only one who's enamored with the idea of them liking June chilies. How could this be? Uh, Sunsets are so much more easily available for us to get around than chilies. And berries too. Whatever, there's nothing to be said to people like you. We can compete once they're done eating, I feel. Uh, forget it. I get it. There's no need for competition now. I know I've lost. Huh? Perhaps I was too overconfident, but I'm not some bullheaded old foggy. You win, youngster. Looks like you and Chili have grown up. If they don't wish to eat chewing chilies any longer, then I'll let them be. One of the things they never did in the first place. Uh, you know what, old man? You surprised me. You guys are pretty alright, learning from your errors and all. Youngster, could I ask you a question? How are you so familiar with Sumter Beast's habits? He said he worked on a caravan. Well, I just like little creatures, and Sumter Beasts are pretty cute when they're young. My family wasn't well to do, though, so I couldn't afford to have one. You were locally born, how would you even know about Sumter Beasts? And that's how you came to steal young together with the treasure holders? No, it didn't steal. I told you, this one came to us. I stole nothing. Our superior said that you, it was just as well that we had a Sumter Beast since we got a big deal going on recently. And we'll have to transport some, we'll have to transport some large goods. That's how we came to keep it in our camp. Mm, even so, think for yourself, that's just not, not right. And how we're supposed to know that someone will be raising Sumter Beast out here in the boonies? If we knew, we'd end up facing off with our tough customers. We have returned it right away. So you wouldn't have returned it so easily had it not been for us, I take it. I see, I see. Well, it's not too late to make up for past mistakes. Well, youngster, ever consider switching careers to work in a caravan? Well, I'm not sure I'll have square meals with you. Square meals? You? You want to eat your few, do you? Look, everyone here can attest to you being a treasure hoarder, a member of a criminal organization. Single documents to be made by me to the Millilith captains and you'll be eating your fuel in a prison cell. Now see, I'm a kind soul, not only I am erasing any record of your guilt, but I'm going to offer you a job, food and board. What do you say? And how much will I make? Uh, wages, wages, well you can ask the Millilith about that. That doesn't seem quite right what you're doing as well. Oh wait, please don't. Uh, you can just assign my paycheck for yourself, alright? Well, in any case, you impress me with your abilities. In the future, my Sumter Beast shall be in your care. I guarantee that not only will you be able to feed your stomach, but you, that you, your talents will see ample use indeed. Oh, this is the first time I've ever seen someone taking advantage of treasure hoarder this much. I suppose we could call this a way out of this life. It's better, it's better than going to jail. I think so too. Uh, to be honest, 
I quite like the idea of spending time with the center beasts. Then give me some thoughts, I'll let you know once I thought it through. I believe you make the right decision, young man. I need to find someone to keep an eye on him. Good, good, good. Anyway, my good fellows, thank you for helping me reclaim my precious young and bring it to my attention that they do not like to drink chilies. Uh, sorry for the trouble, truly. So please, take this as a token of my appreciation. It would be a shame if fine young folks such as yourself could not eat as they pleased every day. We look at chilies. I thought my reward would be chewing chilies. And where's the other guy? Did you fire him? The Tushin kid's pretty quick on the uptake. How's things with your summer beasts? Well, well, Chile and Yun have both put on quite some weight and they are much stronger now. Don't tell him this, but Tushin... Where'd they go? Ah. Tushin's pretty good, his Sumter Beast fee is quite popular with them both. He's quite a hard working one too, works from early to late preparing the feed, and he doesn't miss a bit. He's different from those other treasure hoarders, I'll tell you that. But seriously, what did he join them for? With prayer hands as diligent as his, I suppose that's a bad company for you. In which case, I suppose that makes it my duty to steer him back onto the right path. Seems like you are getting along better nowadays. Me and that tension, huh? You sure are funny. Look, I'm just an old fellow giving him food, board, and a salary out of the goodness of my heart, and he's turned out quite good at ducking his job out. In short, it's a boss employee relationship, alright? Just that. Is the gold there? Wait, that's night? Where's Mingli? Oh, him. I got him to buy some pastures while I was delivering my goods, so he's gone to a roadside pavilion to wait for me. He. Oh, Dread, forgot all about him. Tushin, Tushin, quickly. Go get that fellow. He's probably still at the, in the pavilion. Uh, let's go with some fruit today. Uh, no. Even that, we should have variety. Uh, yes, what's on the menu today? Today is. Oh, it's you. It's you. I thought it was that old funny. Seriously, what's his problem with shouting all the time at his age? My poor ears. Well, anyway, I've prepared some sunset and berries sliced mixed with sweet flower juice, along with some minced berries and mint. You have berry there already. Oh, you're making me hungry already. That won't come cheap, you know? The ingredients I use are all fresh as can as fresh as can be. The old fung is a miser and wouldn't listen to anyone to save his life, but he's generous enough when it comes to the center beasts. Mm, not that this would ever lead me to get your race though. Ah, uh, now I have berries here. Moo. Pets, pets. Number low his head obediently, seems to enjoy this. Hugs. Where some's on low voice. It seems to really enjoy the hugs. We can interact with the others. Uh she pepper blinks and watches as we depart. That's more petting than we can do with the dogs in Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom. Rub rubs. It sticks out his tongue without comprehension, but lets you rub his cheek anyway. Pinches. And tilts its head doubtfully, but goes along with you anyway. Till there, young young. The young lazily swings and stomps its feet. You suppose this can be considered a farewell. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Alright, I think that's alright for now. Let's get that. I suppose next time I play I can start the lantern right. was known for the main quest of the area. Travel, hidden hero, Romeo boat, Archangel view track, demon saints, Chowini, village of main tales. Ah, okay, this seems to be like completing many quests inside Chowin. The Imperial acclimatization. Alright, so let's see here. Uh, seven days. Nothing yet. I got a couple there. <laughs> Another young fay. But I, I had her completed. She was a young fay, right? Yeah. Very well. Uh, already. Alright, so now I'm off.